Deuces. Oh, I already forgot the number of days. 103? Living in Liberia? Yeah. 1 million? Yes. 1,130 days for our children living in an orphanage. That seems fair. 790 days since we started pursuing this adoption. We've been doing videos since January 1st, so. Um, happy, so happy New Year. Yeah. So, um, if you haven't watched our videos before, we're adopting two little girls from Liberia and chose to start living here. Um, mid Early January, we made a decision to just come First, it was to come visit them and just figure out what was going on with their adoption process. We planned to stay for three weeks and go back home and try to get something done in their adoption. The reason that we're still here is that literally every month we hear, oh, in a week or two, this will be done. Oh, in a week or two, this will be done. Um, and it's not done. And the more corruption we see and the more lies that we see, the more fearful we are to leave them here. Because if we leave them here, like, what if the program shuts down? What if they get relocated to, like, a state-sponsored home in Liberia? Like, these are all things that have been discussed. So now we're just scared to leave that we'll never see them again some days. Um, other days, we don't want to just go home and turn around and come right back. Um, and right now, we're here with our entire family. And if we have to go home, then we'll have to split up. And just one of us will have to come back and face Liberia alone, which is not preferable. Pretty much emptied our savings. We have a lot of fundraising help going on. I still feel fairly subdued after my kidney stone battle over the, the last couple days, which was pretty awful. I never had a kidney stone before. It's, it's not fun to have your first kidney stone in Liberia without any good drugs, I'll tell you that. Don't recommend it. Mm -hmm. um, so. I don't know, we're in our new location. It's pretty quiet for a Sunday. Yeah, we don't have to watch people taking pictures with their family outside of our window all day. And not as much butt shaking in the window. <laughs> yeah, they do provocative pictures too, like provocative selfies. I'm like, well, I don't know what you're doing with that picture, but Tell certainly me. not selling what. Maybe it's Insta scam. Be. Insta scam. Maybe. Um, the owner, the owner of the resort, is going to be out of town for a couple months. And um, he was talking to Jeremy, and he's like, "Well, if I don't, hopefully he'll be gone before I get back." But I know I need to find a way to gonna... get a hold of him if we get to leave. Yeah, he's actually gave us a uh, lot us use our the washer and dryer here. Yeah, the laundry thing. He's like, oh, "I'll just use it." He's just like giving stuff to us at this point. Like, oh, I guess we he's made such a profit margin on us. He's now just like, "Oh, whatever you want." Yeah. He has to deal with the corruption Very too. Nice. I mean, he's he's wanting to leave with his girlfriend to go to the Eastern Europe area, and he's like, they are holding his passport and making him pay taxes. So it's like some high amount, and like not really what he's supposed to have to pay. Or and he's something. like, I can't really. He's like, that's too much. And they're like, okay, we'll cut it in half if you give me personal. If you bribe me, yeah. And then it's just like, man, I hate this place. <laughs> it's just like this unforeseen tax rate. At every turn, there's like somebody, something, some entity with their hand out. Yeah. So. Our kids are getting really sad because our middle child is starting to say, like, well, what if we miss 4th of July? But when we talk about it, we're like, well, we can go home without your sisters and one of us off to come back. She doesn't like that either. She'd rather stay here. She'd rather our family stay together. That's kind of what I gathered. But, like, the 4th of July is a big holiday for her because we do, you know, we usually go watch fireworks on the beach or, you know, we take our vacation or our neighborhood has a lot of fun things, you know. Yeah. And it's just something she knows is fun to do. America's birthday. So, 4th of July is a big deal for her. And she knows that they don't celebrate America's birthday in Liberia. So, so she wants to go. Birthday. But it's, it's just this, she doesn't want to go. She doesn't want our family to be split up. And that's what would have to happen because we can't afford to bring everybody back. Um, yeah. so ideally we get good news this week, we get custody of our kids and we get out of here before July 4th. At this point though, our, um, realtor is going to have to speak with our homeowners association Tuesday to see, cause you know, offices are closed on Monday for Memorial day, yes. um, to kind of see what their actual rules are on renting. And they are asking for a security deposit too from the renters. So there's that. So that may scare people off. Um, 
it's like a security deposit on top of what we would ask of them. So that's the whole thing. But um, like our security deposit would be basically to cover if they go over on their utility. So we're doing our rent like four grand a month and that includes utilities. So, um, so that's what we're asking. And that's basically just gonna get us to like a break even point. And right now we're paying the utilities and nobody lives there, so. Yeah. There's that. Yeah. Our internet is still, we're paying our, our phone and internet is together, so we're using that. But we're paying a whole lot more than we would if we lived there. So. Yes. So, there's a part of me that just wishes all of this could be done quickly and we don't, we could just be like, oh, pull it off the market, we're not gonna rent it before anyone can sign a lease. Um, and just go home. That's what I really want. If we had custody of our kids right now, I would tell her to pull it off and we would just go home. Yeah. If we could just get their Liberian adoption <clears throat> done, that would be great. So we'd, have we some, we'd have some say. Yeah. So. So hopefully we can get some movement this week. What was the phrase? Our current go, our current, so today our electricity went out, but we could hear the, the DJ still singing or doing the band, because on Sundays they have a band, and our internet was still on, so it was just our um, little unit that was out. So Jerry looked at the breaker box, so we have two units, basically, so they both have their own little, like, breaker box panel, and he went and looked at one, and it looked good, he looked at the other one, and it was kind of wet. Like, the outside of the box was wet. It's like an RV. Like, I don't even know any other way to... I mean, it's just... It's exactly like... I remember my grandmother had a Holiday Rambler. Before that, she had an old Airstream that was really small. And we used to go, like, glamping in her um, campers that she... Like, the Airstream they used when um, my grandfather was overseas for the Air Force. So... Like, it was, that was what it was for, and they just kept it to use for fun, and she, it was like when my dad was probably, like, four, three or four, when they used to live in the Airstream, so, and my dad, you know, I'm 44, so, my dad was 25 when I was born, so, you're looking at something that was, like, 60 years old, but when we used, so, when we used it to play around with, it was old. This is what this is like here. It reminds me, so, she upgraded the, the Airstream to a Holiday Rambler, which was a little bit better. Still had to tow it with a truck. It's not like it drove itself. But, um, but yeah, it's exactly what this is. It reminds me of that. So we called the front desk. Our phone here works. Our phone at the other place didn't work to call the front desk. So now we can call and order breakfast so Jeremy doesn't have to get out of bed. That's fantastic. Um, so we can order breakfast as long as we do it by 10 a.m. And so we called and we were like, oh, the power's out. So And then the guy came and knocked on the door. But he one guy went to the, like, place to fix it. And the other guy came to our door to fix it. And as soon as Jeremy opened the door, it came on. He was like, oh, no, I sent I sent my friend to go check this other. The, someone else is checking in another spot. They were just troubleshooting. But he said, my, your current is, did your current go? So my current is gone. Or my current, did your current go? So it was like a weird phrasing. It did. My current go. It went. So if I say my current go, then that means my power is out. It's like when you're about to say you're about to leave. It's so, like, like electrical current. They call it current. I come and go. I come and go. It means you're about to go. I come and go, yeah. I come and go means you're leaving. Well, I've heard I'm coming to go, which means you're about to leave soon. So. But. I still feel, I still don't feel good today. It's not fun. I don't know. It's like a pending doom thing, too. Oh, I guess my... Kenny sounds are rough. We got our a copyright thing yesterday on our video. Yeah, Jeremy played that um, song that no one guessed, and no one guessed yet. Everyone's focused on my kidney stone. <laughs> my kidney stone advice. Um, but yeah, it got copyrighted, so... Dope. I guess I nailed it. It's just a war copyright warning. I think you're nailed. right about the monetization. You can't... Well, if we had a million Jesus. people watching that video, I'd be sad. Yeah. I come into goal. We could use some more subscribers. Maybe we could monetize YouTube. I don't know what we would sell. Well, I think if you get so much stuff, they they'll sh they'll sell advertising. And you get paid. I haven't seen the breakdown, but mm, you got to get like you gotta a, have a thousand subscribers. I think you got to get like millions of. We views. have like thirty. Getting close. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know the YouTube dream may be over one day. Why well, should I have to go back to work? <laughs> yeah. I would love to work. It's expensive in America, I hear. I saw a children's clinic opening up down the road. 
I heard a breakdown today of like McDonald's prices. Like the McChicken was a buck thirty, I think, like in twenty nineteen. It's like four bucks now or something. In twenty nineteen, it was a buck. Yeah. Is that cheap? Yeah. Oh, okay. Or like a large fry was a buck. I don't order from McDonald's often, so. Like a buck, like a or ever. a large French fry has gone up two dollars. The only thing McDonald's has that I'll drink is like their premium hot chocolate <clears throat> when it's time to look at Christmas lights, and that's pretty much it. Most American families now are saying McDonald's is like a. Uh, it's like a special event because, like, it's cheaper just to go home and cook. It's not just the lazy parent out. No, because it's so expensive. Mm. Like, even some of the Taco Bell prices, I couldn't believe I heard that today. It was like some kind of burrito. Was Who like, are you listening to that you hear Taco Bell prices? It's, uh, like Tim Pool or something talking mm. about um, inflation. But I was like, man, a burrito at Taco Bell is like over four bucks. We're going to have to start growing our own food if we ever make it back to something's America. Gone, something's gone awry if Taco Bell. Taco Bell is is too expensive. I mean, McDonald's and Taco Bell are both pretty cheap in I mean, our day. One large fry for over four bucks. Because you think about like a family of five, it's twenty dollars and just French fries. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's Chick Fil A prices. It really is. A Christian <laughs> chicken too expensive. Like Christian chicken and the peanut oil. <laughs> oh. I would like some Chick Fil A though. I just want to go home. Me too. I'm done. I'm ready to go home. Trying to think of scenarios about going home that I could actually live with. Mm. Um, if we don't rent our house and we don't make any progress in our adoption and we run out of money, then that, that'll get forced for me. So I guess that'll make it easy. I guess I'll wait till my hand is forced. Mm. Although I don't like my hand being forced because then we'll be out of money and we won't have enough to come back. So we'll have to go home and like save up money, work like dogs again just to come back. Yep. You know what's crazy? What I miss is a dishwasher, man. I know. Paige was telling me her dishwasher broke. She had to get a new one, and I was like, oh, I remember those like, things. I feel, feel for Devin, who's not had a dishwasher for a long time. But she's never had one, so she just... And she makes her kids wash them, I'm sure. Well, that's good. She's never... She just doesn't understand the point of it. I've tried to tell her why, why but it just... Because you don't... It's, it's just the whole process of having it to dry somewhere and all that, but... Yeah. You don't actually have to wash it. But she's like, yeah, but you have to rinse all the stuff off before you put it in there. And I'm like, mm. It's true. She's like, why not just put some soap? I'm like, oh, <clears throat> whatever. It's not, it's not as, um, it's just a quick rinse, though. It's not quite as, you don't really have to work at it. I mean, I like her go-getter mentality. I think she, uh, hopefully she just makes her kids do it. But I miss point. a dishwasher. <laughs> yeah. And an oven. Yeah. I miss paper plates. So I thought about buying paper plates here and they were like $10 for like, like those thin paper plates that we get off Amazon for like, we'll get like 500 of them for like $7. We had $10 these, uh, for like 50 of them. I'm we like, had nope. these disposable plastic plates that we've washed for like, since we've been here. Yeah, we have. There, some of them have died. We're down to like five, I think, which is, I'm like, well, that's enough. But like, I brought, we brought paper plates with us and we used them and I was grateful for them. And then the Davenports left paper plates here yeah, too yeah. that they brought. And so, there's that's the, that. That's the biggest culture shock, I think. Well, there's many here, but one of them is just like, there's just trash on the side of the road. Just sitting there. And they'll just burn it. Like, <laughs> Like somebody, I know, you never be, see anybody like sitting there like manning the fire. No. The trash is just, somebody set it ablaze and just walked away. Nobody we cared. were, we pulled off to come off the road to, our, to Tropicana and there was like a pile of grass or something that somebody had just set on fire and left it. It was, it had a huge smoke thing. I was like, it's just, they just walk away from There's the There's nobody even watching it, making sure it doesn't. It's just this understood thing. Yeah. It's gross. It's, it's gross. terrible for the environment. And your lungs. Mm-hmm. They just don't know any... I mean, they don't know. They don't know that it's bad. Yeah. Or they just you don't know, care. They don't know. And they don't have anything else to do with it, so... And it's so close to their water sources, too. That's what you'll see, like, these guys out doing car washes right next to, like, the river where you know everybody's going to get their water to bathe and all their... It's just... And if somebody has, like, like a, sh a shallow so well, it's, like, 50 feet, and it's not going to... The dirt's not going to clean the water... When it trickles into the well. Mm -mm. So it's going to be drinking polluted stuff. Yeah. Not good people. When they say the rainy season kind of helps too. I'm like, because you're drinking the rain instead of the groundwater. Yeah. I was sad we missed the thing for Nelson's wife today. I hope it went well. Yeah, I'm sure it did. 
So tomorrow we'll do school and then go see the kiddos in the orphanage and try to message the attorney and see what's going on. Yeah. Try to get a realistic timeline from him and how fast he can get this resolved. If he says three months, then <clears throat> that if changes If he says three things. months, we should go home now. Yeah. I mean, there's no reason to sit here and waste resources for three months. Yeah, I'd like to have a realistic, a realistic number from him. I just feel like if we go home, the chance of them getting, if we get on a plane now and go home, the chance of them getting home before Christmas of this year goes with us. Yeah. So. Come just on. a dark time. Come on, Liberia, do something. The more money we fundraise, though, the more we can stay. So if you guys want to give a donate to our adopt together by some noonday, we'll take it. Yes. At this point, we'll take it. Sorry we don't have anything funny. Nothing funny, really. I went and talked to some people today to get some batteries, and then I saw the entertainment, the singer just walking around with this cordless microphone singing. I was like, you go, man. Mingling into the crowd? Yeah. I was like, go, get it done, son. Plays a lot of American hits that are like, you know, pop from the... It's I like heard, 20 years ago or 15 years ago, usually, though, right? I heard some Elton John. A little or longer. Poppy version of Elton John. A lot of Celine Dion. And we really got our fan back. Because if you have, like, air circulating, it's less likely that you'll get eaten by mosquitoes. So this fan was in our... In our uh, other... Um, what am I trying to say? Room. Yes. Villa 8. This is in Villa 8. It's on the third floor. So, Abu went and snagged it for us. Abu Abu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice guy. He gave me some batteries, too, and he's like, how many do you need? I'm like, I need four. They had them locked up. It was for our, um, it was for our um, kids' remote controls so they could play with the, the game stick Nintendo thing. It's like old school Nintendo, Sega, Game Boy, P PS1. It's got like a thousand games on there or something. It does. Most of them are, a lot of them are similar though. They're like, you know, like, like the Mike, they kind of remind me of the Mike Tyson punch out, you know, over and over. Mike Tyson has a fight coming up. No. How old is he? He'll be 58. What? Who's he fighting? He's fighting this. He's a YouTuber, but he's, fa he's a he's young a, kid. His name's Jake Paul. He's a heavyweight uh. fighter now. And he's like, he's won quite a bit, but I've seen some videos of, Tyson training, he looks jacked. He's 58. This other kid's 27. So, big difference. It's going to be on Netflix for free. You, know, you said you'd do paper. So excited that I'm not going to miss people punching each other on purpose. I mean, I want to see it. I'm for like, the world to see. You know, I was like a geek fan of Tyson when Such I was a young kid. Enter my sarcasm. That sounds awesome. <laughs> sounds so stupid. Go, Tyson. And head trauma. There goes some more brain well, cells. I'm sure he's like, Mike Tyson, awesome. have you not done enough to your body? Are you sure this is the route you want to go? Well, I guess he took a break from the hippie Plans lettuce. on living to about 70. Took a lot of break from the hippie lettuce, I guess. Your life, life expectancy <laughs> drops with each blow to the head. And you're just going to ask for a blow to the head. But it should be fun. I'm sure his helmet's better these days. I hope we're watching it from America instead of here. When is it? I think it's in July. Oh, <clears throat> come on, Alfonso. That's the <laughs> lawyer's name. Pray for Alfonso. Yeah. It's too. It's getting hard, guys. It's getting hard. Yes. My middle child gets her capacity. I'm not far behind. Yeah, she seems pretty blue. She's bored. Yeah. All right, well, tomorrow will be more exciting because we'll go to the orphanage. Hopefully talk to the lawyer tomorrow. Yes. Bye, Bye. friends.